there. Gonna go do chores. It's Sunday morning. <laughs> oh, hey, back up, Ranger, back up. I'd prefer him to have a little bit more, you know, get up and go. It's a love making day. So she knows it's there. Forests are clear. I live right on the edge of bears. So every every morning we do a we do a quick check over before we get going. Tell everybody good morning. Hi girls. These are all of my um, girls that are either pregnant or waiting to become pregnant yearly. Feed prices went up by 40%, so they're just killing us. I'm trying to just figure out any possible way to be as um, smart about feed and hay use as we possibly can right now. Short time in the morning, it's definitely dark. Um, it's just go by what you know, get it all done, um, in and out pretty quick. Uh, Kodiak is not as dark as, you know, mainland Alaska. However, it still gets pretty dark. Odin, my little new buck, is still not very masculine. Um, he is such a sweetheart. And unfortunately for a billy goat, you'd prefer him to have a little bit more you know, get up and go, so he can get up and go. <sighs> He's taking a little bit longer than I'd like. I'm gonna try and beat this weather. The rain is just starting to come. The wind's picking up a little bit. Oh, we can get all these outside chores done before it gets too bad though. Man, that'd be great. A big old quarter horse that is just falling off and I really want to get one more summer out of him if I possibly can before he needs to retire but because of that I'm having to do this big time eating. No personal space. Back up, back up. All right, Gibby. I'm gonna go do the other chores and then I'm gonna come back and feed you guys, okay? I know you don't understand, but we're gonna try. Our horses are primarily, hey, back up, Ranger, back up, back up. Um, our horses are primarily used for all of our youth programs, but ow, Maytag, the mule, actually plows. So if by chance we ran out of a situation and needed him to plow our fields, which he does plow the potato patch, we could have that done. He can pull a wagon and ah, a sled. I need two hands. Okay, today is a love making day. Are you ready? I'm uh, gonna put coconut and koala together. And in a month we'll have some babies. So get ready in a month for some babies. busy week this week um, our butcher flew in from the mainland so we went ahead and harvested our cattle over on Woody Island and prepped everything that needed to be done so we have them hanging our butcher will come and help us um, do special meat cuts uh, 
Kodiak does not have a meat packing plant or you know a locker where we can do custom meat like that but we do have our own butcher shop and bringing in a butcher to help us do the cuts of meat and so we join alongside get it all done together and then we sell off some holes and halves of our beefs but first for me it's goats can you get it the best chicken feeder of all time. Just put those in there. We're gonna fill our bags of feed up and it lasts forever. Okay, so I'm sure that we have a little bit of subclinical mastitis running around here. So good. This is made for cows. So I only need about half it. Right up. Just it. Close it up. Massage it. How I, uh, I French them. So I'd come in, make a cup right here. Yep. Yep. Expose each of these bones, tie into like a perfect circle. And so that's, it'll give it a very even, even. I have the guys in the butcher shop butchering. I made some chocolate chip cookies. Yummy. To take to them, but I'm gonna go down. Fletch, Johnny and I are gonna clean out the horse stables. We have all the horses locked up down there. So it's a mess all the time, all the time. A lot of precip precipitation and a lot of the time it comes in the form of rain even in the winter for us having the snow stay up like this is really uncommon um, but 40 degrees after a rain and lots of ice that's actually really common for us so um, we're trying to make the best cleanliness that we can uh, we don't have the luxury of just sitting on snow all winter and waiting till spring we gotta keep going um, otherwise we end up in a huge mud pit I'm trying to make a ditch here that comes up so you see we have a slope it comes and it's gonna come down and it goes down into this ravine you guys ready to come in <laughs> why are you gotta be so mean hey Is he bad to the bone? Yep. Is he bad? Yep. Tell us what kind of bad. The head no spoke up. He said, leave this one alone. Because I can tell you, he spoke about to the bone. <laughs> <laughs> Our day is not quite done. Uh, had a friend drop off some good loose mineral for Maggie to start eating. I have a salt block, but that's just not enough. We're gonna breed her in about five months and getting water for everybody and need to give a pig an injection still. So, uh, Fletch, you gonna hold that feed right up next to her, the fence there. Just hold it up there, Fletch. Don't let her get it. Just hold right it, there. keep it to her. There you go, move it over, Fletch. Right there, keep can... it there, shake it, Fletch. Shake it a little bit so she knows it's there. Did it do it? Oh, yeah, but it's, it's, it's sick. Come here, honey. 
shake it. So put a little bit out right there. Can you dump a little? There you go. There you go, Fletch. That's a good idea. You should put Got it on. Woo! Metro the... Charles, high five to the win. Okay, what are you doing? Shoot, I gave her a shot. You want a shot? 